obviously we have a rapist in Lincoln Park. He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up, trying to rape them. So y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband because they're raping everybody out here. The attacker got loose and went out the upstairs window, but he did leave something behind. Inside out, living la vida loca. I don't know the rest of the song, but I'm gonna sing it anyway. And get that pole straight. Yes, indeed. The champ is here. The champ is here. I ain't coming to play. We come to slay. Yes, indeed. Who we got on the docket today? Oh my God. A bad grandpa. Yes, indeed. Yo, YouTube, YouTube. What's going on? Trey back again. Fit y'all another video. Hope y'all having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely stupendous. Big shout out to all the channel members. I'll subscribe to the Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, yes, I hate to do it today. We have a hell of a story, you all. But I'm going to warn you right now and let you know that this story is very graphic at the same time. When you get through listening to this story, please, please go hug your children. Now, before I start this story, I want to send a special thank you all to my channel members and also to my subscribers for sending me this story. And also, keep these stories coming. Now, this story shows you and illustrates to you why I tell you all you must watch your children and talk to your children and watch your children be around. Now, this story right here is really surprising because when I first heard it, I'm like a Tennessee soccer coach. Raping and drugging little boys up? Damn, what is wrong with people? Why do people want the boy cookie? I don't understand this. But what make it worse than anything is the fact that you have a 63-year-old man who go by the name of Camilo Hurtado Campos. Say it with me. Camilo Hurtado Campos. Yes, an old blister. And you might be thinking like, Trey, what's a blister on your feet? No, I ain't talking about a blister like that. I'm talking about a blister who just won't give up. Now, what was said and what's being told to the media is that just a couple weeks ago, yes, Camilla Hurtado Campos was inside of a restaurant. And lo and behold, he left his cell phone. And you know, that wasn't a strange thing that he left his cell phone because we all leave our cell phones sometimes. But it's what happened after that. Now, when Camilo Hurtado left his cell phone and exited the restaurant, you had a worker who seen the cell phone and was trying to contact Camilo Campos. Now, I don't know how the worker wind up going to the picture section or the video section, but you would think if you're just trying to, uh, you know, return somebody's cell phone, you would just dial the number or just hold the cell phone until they come. But it's a good thing the worker did go through this phone. You know what I'm saying? If it's one time to be nosy, it was this time right here. And upon this worker looking inside the cell phone, yes, the worker was shot. The worker got her eyes busted out. And what I mean busted out, which means her eyes were wide open when she seen these pictures. Camilo Hurtado had, yes, they say hundreds of photos of young boys inside his cell phone where some was new, some was drugged up, and also while he was raping a few of them, yes. And I'm not afraid to use that R word today because you need to use the R word today. We just can't keep blurring out every damn thing. Pretty soon, we ain't going to be able to say one word, yes. They had him on video raping and drugging these boys. You might be thinking to yourself like, damn, Trey, that is messed up. Yes, it is very messed up. But what's even more messed up than that is the fact that Camilla Hurtado entered the U.S. roughly 20 years ago. Now, we understand when people come into this country, most of them are trying to, you know, flee their country because of things that may be going on, the injustices inside of their country. Maybe some of them are trying to find a better life. Now, true, some of them go by doing it the wrong way for us. They enter the U.S. illegally, which they shouldn't do. But at the same time, we understand. You get what I'm saying? I understand. I can't speak for everybody. But it's another thing to sneak inside of a country and go all the way to Franklin, Tennessee and pretend to be a soccer coach, yes, and lure young boys in, all with the aspiration and hopes of just raping them and drugging them. A sad situation. And if I was uh one of them children's parents, number one, my heart goes out to you all, my condolences go out to you all, and at the same time, I'll be ready to knock a patch of hair out of Camilo Hurtado Campos' head. Yes, they have Camilo Thirsty Butt right now in jail, waiting extradition back to Mexico, where he is from. But anyway, we'll break the rest down as I read a snippet from this story, because I ain't got time today, we ain't got time to play. Anyway, I'm going to read a snippet from this story, and I am going to get my opinion, all of it. Mm. Surely. As we go, Tennessee soccer coach accused of raping and drugging multiple kids into the U.S. illegally. No, he's not accused. He done all that because they got him on video. They got him on pictures. I mean, damn, they have all the evidence they need. And thank you, Camilo Hurtado, for filming your escapades, even though you shouldn't have done it. But thank you for convicting your damn self. And hopefully you will get dealt with. 
Anyway, the soccer coach in Tennessee who was arrested after allegedly raping and drugging multiple children entered the U.S. illegally, according to a source. They're trying to make sure that you all know that uh, we did not vouch for that. The U.S. is not responsible for that. We did not put our stamp of approval on Camillo coming into this country. Because you can look at Camillo and tell, that's an old blister. That's an old gay man right there. And no offense to anybody out there gay. Don't get mad at me talking about Trey. Oh, you sounding homophobic today. Yes, I am. When it comes to people out here molesting and raping little boys, we all should. But at the same time, I have nothing against gay people. Because you already know, I talk about my cousin Tay Tay a lot. And Tay Tay is what? Hella gay. And no, I'm not throwing my cousin under the bus. Guess what? It's been said on this show a hundred times. But if you're new to the show, I understand. You may be saying, well, damn, Trey, that's cool. Throw your family under the bus. I mean, hell. And anyway, the Franklin Police Department in Tennessee said Sunday that Camilla Hurtala Campbell, 63 years old, looking at her bit. I don't give a damn how old your child is. Guess what? If they're out here playing with them soccer balls, guess what? It's going to be more to come. 83 in the face. Left his phone behind at a local restaurant, and when the staff went through it to try to find the owner, they allegedly found dozens of videos and pictures of children. In some of the videos and pictures, police said Campos recorded himself raping boys between 9 and 17 years old who were unconscious at the time. That's a sad situation right there. I don't know what the hell Camilo Campos was giving no damn children. But at the same time, you know what? Uh, I'm really trying to think. I'm really trying to uh, take the high road here, you know, but... uh. I mean, can you not tell that somebody has violated you or whatnot? Let's just be honest. I mean, if you know you came in this house feeling one way and then you wake up, you feeling another way and you soar back there at your rectum, chances are somebody will tamper with you. So, I mean, you you would think that one of these children would have said something or somebody would have came forward, especially if they were between the ages of 9 and 17. And look, I'm not blaming the children. And I can understand for, you know, the little youngsters a little bit. But at the same time, I mean, if you're 13 and 14, 15 years old, you don't know that you've been tampered with. That's all I'm saying. I'm not blaming the children. I'm just trying to make sense of this. I mean, damn, Camilo, all the women around there in Tennessee, the only thing you needed was what, like 20 or 30 or $40? You could have had all the booty and all the cookie you wanted. But guess what? Camilo didn't want no woman. Yes, he did. He didn't want no woman. He wanted a child. Anyway, let's continue. Now, a police investigation allegedly found hundreds of other videos and pictures. Like, damn, how many he had? Camilo had a whole stash of videos and pictures, just nasty as he could be. And boy, uh, 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 you was living La Vida Loca. Anyway, now let's continue. According to officials, Campos had lived in Franklin for the past 20 years and was a frequent around nearby school playgrounds and that's what these people always do these type of people they always position themselves around children so i'm not telling you to give everybody the side eye men and women because men and women do this even though men do it a lot more but at the same time women do it too now i'm not telling you to side eye every adult or every young adult that's around a child but at the same time stories like this make you question them like are you really here because you like to be around children or are you here because you like children let me know that anyway that's where police say he would lure children to play on his team. Now, how are you going to lure somebody to play on his team, number one, sir, when you're in this damn country illegally? And then, out of all things, out of all things, you chose soccer. You get it? Because you already know that Mexicans love soccer. Spanish people love soccer. And no offense to them, they call it football. You get what I'm saying? Because you kick a ball with your damn foot. Now, isn't that quite ironic and quite, you know, forfeiting that he would use soccer to lure the children? Notice he did not use baseball. Notice he did not use basketball or football. The chances are, if he used baseball, those children would have took one of them bats and went right upside his head. And chances are, if he used football or basketball, most likely them kids probably would have been black. And guess what? You was not finna get no black child. Uh-uh. They're not having that. Anyway, now a spokesperson for U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement told a news station that an immigration detainer was issued for Campos on July the 10th, one day after police announced his arrest. And damn, now what really amazed me about this whole situation is the fact that this bastard was able to stay hidden inside this country for 20 years unnoticed. But guess what, though? I'll show you how God works. Just when you thought you got away with something, guess what? Things happen. Now imagine this. Imagine if he would have never left that cell phone in that restaurant, guess what? He would have continued to be out here doing his dastardly deed. And at the same time, they say his last victim was in, uh, I think, 2020. Now, you would think that by him being 63 years old, and damn, we just had COVID in 2020, Camilo Campos would give a damn by no COVID. Camilo Campos wanted some booty. Anyway, let's close up before I get in trouble. Now, Campos also entered the United States illegally at an unknown date and location without any inspection by immigration officials, according to law enforcement sources. Now, 
I don't know how he got in here. I don't know if he got in here plane, train, automobile, but most likely that tunnel on Fast and the Furious for what, four or five? When they built that tunnel, when they was going underground from Mexico to the United States, when they were racing them cars, chances are Campos used that damn tunnel. I bet you he did. Anyway, the police say Campos gained trust from the children. He would invite them over to his home where he's accused of drugging and raping them. A sad situation. And you got to be one sick person to do a child like that. I mean, how you, what kind of world we live in? And then you got grown men out here. You got women just ready to throw their ass at you, just ready to throw the cookie at you. And then you got grown men also that uh, swing both ways, that's ready to throw it at you. So there's no need to resort to messing with children. I mean, damn, somebody's going to knock a patch of hair out of Camilo Campos' head soon. Anyway, now in closing, Detectives also believe that the children were in such an unconscious state that they may not even know that they were victims. And that's a sad situation. You know how messed up you got to be to sit up here and be raped and not even know you're raped? I mean, damn. But I'm going to know if somebody tampered with me. I'm just speaking for myself. Because one thing about it, I don't even like to use the bathroom too much because sometimes that may hurt. So imagine somebody trying to go up in you. Anyway, I'm going to leave it right there. That's enough for today. And once again, thank you to my channel members and also to my subscribers for sending me the story. But on the real, though, talk to your children, you know, and, you know, when they go places, make sure, make sure they're around responsible adults who are not like this. And true enough, looks can be deceiving. And true enough, you may not know firsthand. But guess what, though? If you look a little deeper, chances are some of them are sweet as bear me. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about the story. If there's anything I may have missed or misinformed, which is not my true intent, please let me know in the comment section or you can email me and we can talk about it more there. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Until next time, you all stay blessed and have a great weekend and much love to all of you all. And thank you all for the love and support. We're going on almost seven years, people. So I just want to let you all know that I appreciate everything, you know, and I know I'm a handful sometimes, but guess what? My intentions are good. And one thing I hate is for people to mess with women and to mess with children and also to mess with the elderly and disabled. I cannot stand that. And I feel more people need to do that and stand up for what's right in this world. And guess what? The world will be a better place. But I will see you all soon. You all take care. Have a great day. And guess what? I'm out.